Sure. All right. Good luck, dudes. Okay. And uh, three, two, one, go. Oh no, I hit the wrong and button. Good luck. <laughs> it, all right, you hit start. <laughs> yeah, I hit start. Okay. All right, we're good. That's all right. Like half second, quarter second. I'm gonna do a little floor drop. I'm gonna try and do a little bit of that grind to the left to show it off. Okay. I, I totally didn't, but it won't change anything. I'm getting shut out over there anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a single heart. Hey, I killed like six enemies. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. And that's what the grind yeah. looks like, but you have to make an extremely tight timer in order to get it without having to use a password, so that's why we're using this password. Yeah, I was testing it yesterday. I do that grind for about 30 seconds and then go to the skeletons and it turns night right when you get there, but... Yeah. I'm, I'm at the skeletons the right hard. now, but KMAC is going to be following suit real quick, and we'll be in the same spot, just grinding away. Yep, the first about five minutes of this game is all grinding. <laughs> Not pretty much, it is. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean it's easy, though. <laughs> Often, like, for me, the biggest hazard in this game has been uh, the whip cooldown. Just getting used to, like, uh, usually at the start of every single session that I play this game, um, I have a hard time getting used to when I can whip again, and so I'll hit the button a little too early and just bash into enemies on accident <laughs> with, my, with my face. I'm sure we all do that at times. I never saw Paul do that, though, and so I was always envious of that. Yeah, it's because uh, this heart grind, especially with these skeletons, like, it'll lag at times and just drop input, it seems like. Right. Not really paying attention, just, like I said, bash right Yeah. So there's a two-minute skip in this game that we are not going to do. For those of you, for those of you who are privy to the speedrun uh, aspects of this game, uh, we are not going to do the blob boost. We're just going to grab the flame whip, the morning star and the flame whip, and just go the old way. Because yeah. screw that blob skip. <laughs> it, exactly. it saves two minutes, but it could very easily not save two minutes, but lose like five minutes. Yeah, if you don't get it before you game over, then. <laughs> then trying yeah, to grind 13 lost. hearts, having to whip everything eight times. You just lost all the time you could save and then some, and you have a very small window. Uh, despite, I mean, despite that you have several chances to do it, several chances is still not that much for that stupid boost. Sometimes it can just take forever, so we'd rather not risk it. And for the sake of uh, for the sake of us both doing a race and wanting it to be close and wanting it to be, you know, fair between us, we don't want to rely on RNG in order to get the game over with. We'll be doing. I'll be doing this grind about another minute. I should have started my timer. This is going to be kind of sketchy. That's why I had a timer set up for when it turned night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I have a pretty good idea. I'm just going to go right now. Yeah, you want to leave the skeleton grind to make the door when it says 3 o'clock on the in-game. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe be a pal. What time is it on your thing? I'm at what, two what minutes, but I also had... I was also behind uh, because I screwed up on the password oh, okay. screen. That's fine. Wait, two It'd Probably minutes. be good to leave in about five seconds. I'm already at the zombies. Grind in that XP. Yeah. That might backfire on me to go so early, but I'm not sure. I could just hit the start menu real quick. Okay. I have All right, good time. hearts. Oop, I got that little floor drop, too. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't even paying attention to the hearts. Oh, yeah, that floor drop. Yeah, it would let me grind a little bit of zombie here. That's another thing in this game. Uh, frame perfect tricks. They are 
there are quite a few of them throughout this game. They're called floor drops, and uh, what happens is if your subpixel is on the exact correct memory value, uh, and we have setups for getting that, uh, and you hit the whip button on the correct frame, I totally just waited way too long for the song to grind. Oh well. So I'm gonna lose about 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. Oh, were you short of the door? Or yeah. Well, I, I was still grinding zombies when <laughs> morning hit. I just wasn't paying <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, like it's about a block seconds. from the door. Just entering the. Oh, I got so that. Floor I just drop did. Too. I just did the first floor drop. My first floor drop. Uh, if you whip, uh, if you if you're on a platform that's two uh, two blocks higher than another platform, and uh, you whip on the first falling frame down to that. If you're if you have the right sub pixel memory address, then you will fall right through the floor. And that's very useful for a lot of our tricks. Yeah, so set, setting up some of these floor drops, you'll see us doing jumps and wondering why are they just jumping around doing nothing. It's to set up the right Y subpixel value. It can only occur on, yeah. I believe, 3 of 32. I believe it's 0, 8, and 16 need to be the values. Um, Z Brannigan, uh, user on Twitch who watches both JC and I figured it out, broke it down, came up with a lot of the setups for this. So yeah, dude, Between that and the blob game. boost, this game has cut four minutes off the record uh, Furious Paul, which was not that old. He said it back in January and then within two months, I believe, all this stuff was found starting back late August. It's really... Yeah, thanks Z Brannigan for all that you <laughs> all that you found. Is he in the chat right now? I wonder. I, I'm not even looking right now. Yep, he's in there. I saw him. He just cool. Faker Z. <laughs> nice. Um, let's see, other other shout outs. I guess who should, who should who else can we shout out? I guess Clever Squirrel Dan. Fighter. Come, 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 come. Squirrel Fighter. Squirrel Fighter really got got you involved in it and really got me involved in this, this game usually i don't start speed running a game unless uh there's something i think there's something to find um and in this case we found entirely new routes uh like i said i was mentioning the blob skip the blob boost that i mentioned earlier extremely tough to pull off uh and it's it happens at 22 minutes in the run so it's a big pain in the butt uh, to have to reset on that, but um, that's a new trick, and I started doing that, and eventually uh, got the world record pretty quickly, because uh, two minutes is pretty huge. Oh yeah. All right, here's a tough floor drop here. Oh, I screwed up the setup for the floor oh, drop. I was. <laughs> I, I was so scared I was gonna the, miss that. I screwed it up. I. I had the safe setup for it, and then I forgot about that I was doing it. So I'll make up for that uh, morning transition right. that I. It didn't on. take. I think it took me about seven tries to actually get that one. So okay, I just got to didn't the water. Didn't too much. Yeah, I'm about probably about ten seconds behind you now. Okay. So did you plan anything out for <laughs> how you're gonna do that that section we don't normally do? I'm gonna go for it. Or, or what you? Uh, no, I'm. I'm, the thing is, yeah, when I started morning. running this game, I was doing that route, so I'm familiar with it. Oh, okay. So I really didn't have to route it. I have somewhat of an idea of what to do. I mean, I know what to do. I know exactly how to do it, but I'm not incredibly practiced at it. I'm just hoping it goes pretty decently. It doesn't seem like a too difficult of a part to figure out. No, it's pretty This easy. is a block trick. I'm totally not going to totally block not gonna trick this. and hopefully not go jump too late. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I didn't get the quick one, but I'm going to get the slow one here. I oh, think I boy. Play. Maybe. Okay, I lost about 15 okay. seconds there. I missed it as well. I thought okay. I had it. It looked really good, but about a pixel too short. Lost uh, several, yeah, several cycles of that moving block. But what happens is, it, uh, if you're holding against the blocks, uh, the screen won't scroll. And if your if your sprite goes all the way to the edge, edge of the screen, the game will treat it like a screen transition. 
and uh, it'll just put you it'll put you into an imaginary room. That room is actually not in this mansion. That room without any enemies and everything. It it's actually that's actually a room. The first room in the fifth mansion that you just saw there. If I heard, it sounds like you just got the steak. Yes, I, I heard not the steak. But you hear that? <laughs> yep. Ugh, so scared for these floor drops. I'm trying to be so like meticulous with them. Just getting right on the edge. I'm also worried for these water pits. <laughs> All right, just about to exit the mansion. The jumps in this game are actually pretty tricky. As a casual, I had a hard time just making these jumps regularly. Thank goodness for the whip jump because that helps. <laughs> Yeah, there is a there is something we use in this game. I'm about to use it right here. Did you see that? That was a three block high jump, um, and only the whip, uh, only when whipping can you do that during a jump because uh, the whip somehow just boosts you up a pixel in mid jump. I don't know why it does that, but it's useful in several points throughout the game. I see K Mac just got it. Well, I have delay though. <laughs> I gotta remember that I had, uh, I totally forgot to buy the second oak steak. <laughs> oh, I, it's okay. That's fine. I'm so uh, used to not being able to buy it. Yeah, I, I remembered to buy it, but it's only five seconds. I actually timed this. I'm killing all the extra enemies that I don't have to kill. I I'm shouldn't doing be doing being that. that. Being that it's Morning Star <laughs> and Flame Whip. Not having to grind hearts, even taking a little time to kill a few extra is better than having to grind. Well, yeah, and these guys give experience too, so it's not like I'm getting nothing out of the deal when I max exactly. out. Oh, yes, that's another thing. You can max out your heart count in this game, and that might actually be an issue later on. It uh, Even with max hearts, it's still hard to buy the Morning Star. Exactly, because you have to buy the two stakes in Death's Mansion and then hopefully have enough hearts drop it. It's not that long of a period after you kill death until you get to the Morning Star Town. So right. you need pretty good heart drop luck, even maxed out. <laughs> yeah, I was discussing. We were discussing earlier that this possibly could be the first Simon's Quest race ever. <laughs> oh, that's a nasty blob pattern. Okay, he fell through the stairs. <laughs> And then the second one was still still there. Yeah, those blobs sometimes there. <laughs> that is the worst blob pattern I've ever had in my life. I'm, I'm glad nothing terrible happened out of it. Ooh, wow, I got hit by the skeleton, too. Uh -oh. We're in, like, the exact same spot, but you got the steak. <laughs> yeah, I, I just like, I... the skeleton when you said that. The problem is I have... Uh, you have full health, and I am down quite a few, so Death's Mansion is going to be tough for me. Again, terrible blob pattern, and that skeleton was probably my fault. Yeah, Death's Mansion is where I think this race will be made. Yeah, Death's Mansion is... There's going to be any separation, because uh, the death fight itself, and those two floor drops, and the jump in... <laughs> yeah, the thing about Death's Mansion is... Uh, well, we don't have uh, many of the items that we uh, normally would have in this game, such as the Sacred Flame and the Diamond. And so it makes uh, it makes going through the mansions a little faster, but a little harder. And uh, it, normally in a speedrun, we don't grab the Morning Star or the Flame Whip, and that makes the end of the game pretty tough. But in this case, we'll be getting the, oh, the Flame Whip. That was close. Whoa. My biggest worry, I think, in this whole speedrun is missing an orb. <laughs> For missing <race>. an orb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you're worried about that, just stand and hit it. Don't even jump. Yeah, I know, but I keep jumping and throwing <laughs> it anyways. <laughs> yeah, I have a take. So so. Oh my god, the blob just did it again. That same blob just went through the stairs. On the way Blobs back. Are not liking you today. They are mean today. They are angry. Okay, the good news is I still have enough health to get through the swamp, 
safely. That's, good. That's the main thing. You don't want to have to die before the swamp. And then have to go through Death's Mansion. But yeah, a number of things could turn the tides for this uh, whole race. Right, I did an accidental floor drop there. That's good. <laughs> oh, I just oh. took it. You mean into the swamp? Yeah. <laughs> I've oh, done that's... it one time, but it's not. It's <laughs> easy to avoid it, just with a little bit later. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm getting hit by other things that I don't want to get hit by. I took a hit yeah, where I could never take a hit. Uh... This is going to be pretty sketchy on the swamp here. I'm not having right. very good heart luck. Oh, uh, it's that, good enough for now. You only worry about it after you buy the oak stick. You should have 256. And if, if not that, then that's still pretty good. You, you should at least have 200 something. I hope so. I, I don't remember what I was at at the rib. Ooh. I don't have 256 myself. This might be interesting. Oh, I just took a hit from... I started walking forward onto that fireball. Okay, so I'm jumping through this swamp. It is faster to walk through it, but I'm so low on health that I, uh, that I need to play it safe here. Hopefully I'll level up soon. Wow, morning already? I just hit morning as well, so we gotta be pretty close. I just finished the swamp. I'm looking at the boat guy, not quite on the boat. Yeah. I'm at 226. Oof. But only 88 XP. Hmm, 88 is kind of low. I wasn't paying attention to my XP. I'll, you know, I'll probably just die and, you know, just kind of be like, whatever. And that Spear Knight is in a terrible spot. Alright, here we got the mansion. Oh, and I got hit. <laughs> so ah, I'm level up. Two part. Oh, wow, you're actually level very... up already? Wow. <laughs> yeah, for That's me, that was a very zombies. good time to level up. With two health left. <laughs> That's actually very good for me. Yeah, I'm getting trolled by Spear Knight. And I got killed by him. Oh. Uh, so yeah, the level up was really key there. Oh, yeah. Well, a death in this game is not that costly. A game over is, but a death is not. In, in this game, game overing uh, causes you to lose all of your hearts. But you still spawn exactly where you died. It's not like any of the other Castlevanias where you go back a whole level or a checkpoint. There are no checkpoints in this game. Oh, except for Dracula's Mansion. Yeah, you go all the way back to the beginning. But you do get hearts back. It's kind of weird how that works. I'm getting terrible heart luck. Alright. Gotta hit these drops. I got that one. The one that I I'm always gonna go miss. For, I'm going to go for the, one of the toughest jumps in the game here. The jump into Death's Room. There's a three frame window. There's no indicators. I did not get it. That is uh -oh. a bummer. <laughs> so this is where Kamek could save up. a lot of time. Yeah, Kamek could catch up right here if he gets it. And then some. Ah, we got it. You got it. Okay, now it's all about who kills Dracula or uh, who kills Death the fastest. We're gonna be using a glitch here, the holy water glitch. Yeah, he gave me a terrible pattern, so I had to. Okay, I got back him. Off. I got him I in a few tries, off. but I took a lot of hits. Yeah, I've taken a few hits, but also way behind on health. I really don't want to take any more hits from him. I still have yet to kill him. But I've already got some. The... Alright, got him. But I've already got the orb as well. So. Okay, I would recommend not using any daggers. Yeah, I'm not here. using daggers. 
<laughs> Normally we'd be using daggers like crazy, but daggers cost uh, two hearts each to use, and uh, we need these hearts badly for the Morning Star. Got enough health to ah. get through this part, so I need well, to get a lot of hearts. So that's I got really good luck with him. He didn't hit me. Okay, another glitch we're pulling off here: the glitch into the ceiling. Let's see if how this goes. I'm about to start that as well. Okay, got it. Got mine. Barely got it. <laughs> Barely. Alright, I'm at 172 hearts, that's good. Level up is gonna be key, I need to level up. Hearts should be fine. So what happened there was, uh, uh, when you jump while the screen is scrolling up, the screen kind of stops scrolling for the duration of your jump. And so we utilize that to kind of go through floors that haven't spawned yet. It doesn't work for everywhere. It works there, though, which is pretty good. All right. So the big test here is whether I have enough hearts for the Morning Star. And I'm not sure if I do. Going into the menu to check your hearts takes time. So we, we check our hearts every single time that we naturally go into the menu for something else, like an item that we want to use. Simon's Quest Races. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it seems so, like uh, we're both out of the mansion. I'm about to get Red Crystal. I was yeah, hoping that we'd be real close at this point. So We are. <laughs> I think this is real close. I mean, we still have a lot of things that could turn the tides oh, very yeah. easily. The I floor just... drops in Dracula's mansion. Best Mansion could have made this a minute apart. So, it's good that we're... Okay, I'm gonna check my hearts right in this next screen here. This, I think, is the best place to check them. Okay, I have enough. And Holy Water. Because you gotta select Holy Water anyway. I also have a level up. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm having a... Okay, that was somewhat fortunate of a blob screen. I took three hits, I think. Two or three. But they all boosted me in the right oh, direction, so... I, I that's still probably the there. fastest. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take a hit, but I haven't leveled up either, so I was... Uh, two hits yeah. would have killed me. Still six XP away from leveling. Yeah, but before this playthrough is over, I'll probably have taken my first uh, death. Because I'm pretty low now. As far fact, as if, yeah, if you I'm have like half, if you have half your health, I would do the first half of that small, or do the first small swamp for the big long one, and then die before it. Yeah, and you'll have plenty of health to finish the game. That is true. Yeah, that was my plan. If I take any hits from a blob before I level up, so yeah, I never, never even thought to do that. Okay, floor drop here. Okay, got them both. I actually, do you know the setups for the Morning Stars? Floor drops. Uh, not going down to him, but leaving. I do. Going down is fall, then jump up, and then that's it. Fall, then jump up. Okay, so it's not jump yeah. down, jump back up. Look at no, okay. it is jump down, jump up for the other one though. Oops. All right, level up, full health. So you gonna do the tornado oh, jump? I, I tried. I, I didn't get it. I hit it too early. I've never, I haven't never been able to pull it off. I'm just doing the tornado. It's, uh, yeah, it's two. It's uh, it's two frames. It's the first two frames as you enter the screen, just as you're in the screen. Nope, didn't get it. Just trying to mash and hopefully get it. But... Yeah, sometimes that works. Alright. Alright. 
One thing I'm scared about is breaking the top block. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost did. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did. I did that on one of the practice playthroughs a week ago or so. Okay. Oh. That would be about 20 seconds lost in that case. Okay. Not getting this. Oh, right there. 14 nice. Okay, just hit night. In this game, there's three endings, and a speed run of this game pretty much guarantees the good ending, because, well, to get the good ending, you have to speed run this game anyway. And in my opinion, that makes this game very replayable. Um, it's the reason I'm speed running, I'm, I'm interested in speed running this game, actually, is because, uh, Playing this game is interesting uh, when you're when you're actually routing just to beat it casually, you get the good ending, and when you know what to do, that actually that actually that actually makes it a whole lot better. I mean, the the part of uh, what makes people hate this game is uh, it's really hard to know what to do. If you know what to do, then that problem's no longer an issue. The other one is the heart grind. Uh, uh, that's no longer an issue as long as you can bring the heart grind to a minimum. Um, and as long as you have those two elements out of the way, it becomes actually a pretty engaging game. And this route we're doing is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot more fun than the Blob Boost. What makes us hate this game is the Blob Boost, I yes. think. <laughs> for the most part. Blob Boost. <laughs> so I'm going for hearts here, because I need to be sure to buy an Oak Steak. Very good heart luck so far. And I need him. <laughs> yeah, I'm killing I... everything. I probably have yeah. enough, but I I need also enough for to use daggers on Camilla. Yeah, Camilla, if she doesn't can really kill this run if she just decides to drop her tears. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bit. I are you gonna kill her with the with your whip? I might have to just because just to not heart grind because I am really low on hearts. Well, the heart grind in this. Uh, case is not that bad. Yeah. I just to. had really bad luck on killing all those enemies so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. I do have daggers equipped and I do not have enough for an oak stake. Actually, I'm going to have to kill her with the whip. I'm going to have to do the same. I am at 32 hearts. <laughs> that is not good. Hopefully she gives me a good pattern here. She gave me a okay. wonderful pattern. In fact, that was faster oh, than daggers. Oh, I jumped into her. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so that's about six seconds lost. And hopefully she gives you a good pattern after that. Yep. I was able to get her in one rotation, because I was standing right underneath yes. her. <laughs> oh, very nice. After I died. I, 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 had, I had to get two, so yeah, you, you definitely came just back got, on that one. Just got so the death actually probably helped. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but I'm, I'm crying uncle on hearts here, so... Yeah, I need to pick What's up five second? hearts. <laughs> Just by the sink. Pretty sure I'll be okay. Three more. So the current world record holder of this game is KMAC, and he got a wonderful time a few days ago. Or no, two days ago. Right? Two uh, or three. I think it was uh, Tuesday. Yeah, um, uh, 32.47 is the new time, right. which makes this game about <laughs> about the same uh, uh, timing-wise as uh, Castlevania 4, and that, that really surprises me, that an RPG is as, <laughs> is as long as a, as a platformer. Okay, yeah, that run I lost more. like 8 or 9 seconds at the very end, <laughs> which... Was unfortunate, but so, yeah, that, puts me quite a, that puts me quite a bit ahead, but there's still lots of things in this game that could uh, turn the tides once again. You, have you already left the mansion? I have, and I am just getting out of the swamp. Oh. Uh, uh, this will be sketchy. I'm tempted to use a laurel here. Never mind, I barely got out. Okay, 
Dagger, dagger, dagger. Whoa. One hit that I take here will kill me. Oh, the dagger went through the Medusa. That is evil. And I died. Yeah, I'm short on hearts for this part. I need at least one to drop. Okie dokie. Alright, we gotta add enough for us. <clears throat> so, if I take one more death, that'll be a game over. I think I'll be okay, though. I mean, it's possible to go from entering Camilla's mansion to Dracula without taking a hit with this route. Right, so uh, for those of you somewhat familiar with this game, uh, you'll know that Camilla's mansion, oh god, is... Uh, <clears throat> is the fifth mansion. Normally it's the last mansion you go into before entering Dracula's mansion. And uh, the reason we go th uh, there first um, instead of the fourth mansion is because we do not want to have to get the Oak Stake guy in the fourth mansion. He takes a long time to get to. He is way, way out of the way. Way out of the way. In fact, if you had to go to him, it would make low percent impossible. <laughs> He just he changes so much about the game. Going for that floor drop, I keep missing. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> no more. All right, this is gonna come down to floor drops because I'm just right behind you here. <laughs> I just heard you All get right, the that... orb, and I'm getting the orb as well. Okay. Good. coming right down. Yeah, this is coming right down to it. The floor drops in Dracula's mansion. Maybe even the bridge, because I'm not sure how to do that with Flame Whip. The bridge well, actually kind of works. When it turned night, it should turn day there, I think. And I'll just take one. Uh, I'm not sure. I have a good idea how to do the mummies. Yeah, mummies probably are just gonna, they take one day or two. I'm probably day. just going to laurel all the sections that I normally laurel. I know there will be lag, but... At least I'll be getting through the swamp quickly. Alright, so dagger. Oh no, don't do that, Simon. So what do you think would be a good time with this route? <laughs> when we finish? I think uh, sub 36 it would be good. Sub 36? That's yeah, I, asking a lot, isn't it? Well, I World played this route. Right. I did this route the other day when I was doing my one through three runs. I ran a 35 45. <laughs> so, and that was. Wow. I mean, so it's possible to sub 36 this route. Really good. Uh, let's see, with the mistakes we've already made. I'm having to pass if this is because I screwed it all up. <laughs> I took that bridge way too safely. <laughs> cool. Okay, I got that first floor drop. Oh, you got that floor drop. I need to hit that then too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it comes down to those uh, Dracula's Mansion floor drops. Man, those, we've, we've pretty much uh, redo it. <laughs> I think our errors have been pretty much the same. Uh, you, you've had one more than I have, and that is the floor drop outside the Blue Crystal Town, and that's that's a bad floor drop to miss. Yeah, because when you miss the... that once, when you miss that once, it makes it it causes it to take forever. Yeah, that's pretty much the difference in our run right now, I believe. That's pretty much it. Yeah. That's the I don't know. Thing. Oh, I also got the late start, but. <laughs> Eh, like a half second, right? Uh, I had, I deleted a letter by accident, so I had to go all the way back up and get the letter. And then, oh, jeez. Yeah, so oh, okay. Like five or six seconds. Oh, I could sit in one spot for <laughs> for a second or two. No, that's fine. Don't. <laughs> all right then. All right, so here we are. We are in Castlevania. This game, yeah, this game, this game calls Dracula's Mansion Castlevania, uh, and I, 
don't know if this is the same if, if this is the same rules for what the term means in other games. I don't know if the last level of Castlevania 1 is Castlevania or whatever. But, um... Yep, we solved Dracula's riddle <laughs> in uh, about 35 minutes. The story of this game is kind of interesting. Oh, I, I mean, you have to... completely ...through a holy water <laughs> rather than whipping. Okay, there's... I got both floor drops. Now I just have to not die to Dracula. Oh, that's easy. You gotta whip him this 15 race will times. Pump whip. <laughs> yep, I got, the, I got the flame whip. There is no excuse to screw this up now. I'm just gonna beat me by a little bit here. Still. Oh, missed that floor. I, see, I, see you. I see you missed that floor drop. That's a shame. And that is a perfect Dracula. But no game. And time. Orders. Time, time, time. Ugh. Good race. <laughs> yep, good race. Done. Great. So I, I'm not even on the channel. What is what is that time we had? Um, I'll take a look here. Uh, yeah, we both sub 36 to or uh, 35, to. Really? 53 for no. you, JC. Oh, th 53 for me. You probably didn't sub 36 no, then. No, there's only no. room for no. one away. <laughs> wow, 35-53 is insanely good for this route, actually. <laughs> yeah, with the so late nice. start, I probably was really close to it, but that's unfortunate. But that one floor drop. That one time. floor drop, man. That's all it was. <laughs> you probably would have won that race if not for that floor drop. Yeah, it was about ten, about ten seconds. So you probably it would have been right at Drac at the same time. But oh well, good race. Yeah. At least it wasn't <laughs> like a minute apart. <laughs> We got some people saying Team JC and some people saying Team K Mac. Well, at least I won one race in this marathon. <laughs> lost the last one. Barely lost. Oh, man, I lost the last one to the terrible, most terrible thing, man, that battle to its race. I, I game over it in the worst possible spot. The end of the longest stage. Anyways, okay, so I guess we're moving on to yep. Castlevania 3. Is that correct? Yep. 